Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you and salute to you. What we're going to talk about in this video is Wireshark and what Wireshark is, where you get it, how you start using it, and then I'll leave you some resources uh, where you can poke around. So what is Wireshark? Well, it is an open source uh, and happens to be, at least according to them, the world's most popular network protocol analyzer. So what does that really mean, right? What it means is we can run Wireshark on Linux, Windows, Mac. We can plug it into our network, and it makes your computer listen to everything that it can hear going on. Sometimes you have to do things like uh, mirror ports, span ports, things like that. But what it does is allows us to capture traffic and analyze what's happening on the network. There was a video that I did uh, for home digital assistants. I won't say their names because I don't want to upset all of you and set your speakers off where we watched that traffic uh, kind of in real time to see what was going on. That's one use. Uh, you can analyze a voice over IP. We use it extensively for that. And uh, when we're doing network troubleshooting, this is where you are going to start seeing a difference uh, in in vendors, right? Like people who uh, can troubleshoot, analyze packets, see what's going on. They're a different le level than, than people who are just throwing spaghetti against the wall to see what can stick, right? So how do you get started with Wireshark? First thing you do is you download it because it's free, right? So you're going to head over to wire, wireshark.org and uh, you can go ahead, you can click get started. That's going to take us down to the download links. And you can see here they've got the Windows 64 installer, the portable apps, so you can uh, do it so you don't have to install it. It's got a Mac OS. You can compile from source, all those good things. So I'm going to go ahead and download the 64-bit installer, which is version 4.0.10. And once that's done, we're going to come back real quick and we're going to install it. So stay tuned. All right, you've got your file uh, downloaded. So you're going to go ahead and open it. Now this is, you know, these are the Windows uh, instructions, obviously. So we're going to walk through this. It's going to have to reset our network. So it could cause a disturbance there. And uh, we're just going to accept the defaults for now. Um, I'm not going to put a desktop icon or a quick launch icon because I'll just start it and then I'll pin it to the to the taskbar. Anyway, we're going to associate all different kinds of capture files with Wireshark because it can read a lot of those. So we're going to go ahead and it's going to install in PCAP. And we're not going to do USB cap at the moment. Now, uh, while this installs, um, you can use uh, Wireshark for wired or wireless. So just remember that. All right, this install is going to go through, and we're just going to let it go, and we'll be right back. All right, so we're at a point where uh, the NPCAP uh, from nmap.org, it needs to install, so we're going to say we agree. Um, and right now, for what I'm doing, I'm just going to leave the defaults on this. All right, it looks like we're done there. Next, and finish. I'm not going to restart my computer. So I'm probably gonna not, not going to need to do that, but we'll get it uh, fired up. We'll be right back. Oh, well, that was fast, right? So next, I want to manually reboot later. This is for me. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the Start menu and get Wired Shark fired up. Hold on just a second. I paused it because I didn't know what was going <laughs> to what was gonna pop up on there. Um, let's see here. So let's do Wired Shark. Sometimes accidentally uh, mistaken for um, WireGuard. So we're going to go ahead and launch Wireshark and uh, get the ball rolling here. All right, so this is your, uh, what did I do? Open this like 60 times. Yeah, I got a little impatient. That happens. It happens. Okay, so what you're going to see on this first screen is you're going to see all of uh, the the adapters in your system that are available to do uh, packet captures. 
And it's also going to show you right here, excuse me, which adapters it is currently seeing traffic on. So Ethernet 3, we have traffic on. So that's the one that I'm going to capture on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight that interface, and then I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the fin. It is literally going to start capturing all the all the traffic that that uh, network interface can see on my on my network. So uh, one thing that may happen if you're working with us or another consultant is you might do this capture, and it may not have any of the traffic that's causing the problem or what we need to analyze. So we may have you. Um, if you've got, we got a specific machine we're looking at, we may have you mirror the port, right? So that uh, we mirror the port of that other device. We plug our Wireshark machine into the, the mirrored port and we capture all that traffic. If we don't get what we're seeing here, there's a possibility that could happen. But we're seeing all these things that are happening. And you usually, you know, you're going to do some things like surf the internet if there's a problem or you're going to try to recreate the problem. And uh, once you've done that a couple times, then you're just going to stop the capture. And then you can uh, save the capture, save it, call it whatever, and then either analyze it yourself or send it to someone for analysis. So let's just scroll through this real quick. And you can see, and you can uh, display filters. And the newer versions of Wireshark actually walk you through uh, writing filters or applying a display filter, which is really nice because you can, you know, you can uh, sort, you know, you can show just all HTTP, all TCP, all MDNS, right? You can really start, you know, limiting a lot of this down. You can uh, filter by source IP, destination IP, and all these things. But you can see that, that just my computer plugged into a switch, which then has an uplink to a Ubiquiti switch, which then has an uplink to my router, you can see all of this traffic that is happening. And a lot of this is normal. Some of it's chatty stuff out on the network. Oh, look at that. There's quick. And you can see it's uh, uh, Google's DNS, right? I have that, mem that memorized and it's talking back and forth. And they are protected uh, payloads there. But once we click on something uh, down here, this is where we're going to be able to really start digging into what's going on. And sometimes we don't even have to get that far. Sometimes if we understand what we're looking for, we can actually just see it in the back and forths up here. So don't be afraid to play around with Wireshark. Um, it's a great tool. If you understand it um, and you get good at analyzing traffic, you could probably write your own ticket because it is huge in security, uh, malware analysis, uh, ransomware analysis, analysis of all kinds of things. So I'm going to leave links to some books because there are some good books. I'll leave affiliate links to these out on uh, Amazon. I am a huge fan of, of packet publishing. And um, they've got a Wireshark Essentials book. Uh, there's a Wireshark uh, net, Network Analysis. And this is, book is actually, there is a certification for Wireshark um, uh, Network Analysis. I've, I've thought about um, doing it. Um, but this is the official study guide. And then there's a Wireshark 101, all, um, all good books. So you should definitely get that. If you want to see more Wire, uh, Wireshark, not WireGuard, if you want to see more Wireshark content, let me know what you want to see down in the description. And we'll do some quick, you know, five, six minute videos looking at different kinds of traffic. If there's enough interest in it, we use it extensively for troubleshooting. I use it, uh, probably once a week. So, let me know what you want to see. Get started with Wireshark and make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe, comment, share, follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with all these affiliate links and a Patreon link. And if you need IT consulting, if you'd like someone to take over the troubleshooting of your network, if you need storage, voice over IP, uh, uh, you know, wired or wireless networking, security, all of those things, reach out at willyhow.com, fill out that contact form, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. That's our promise to you. Once again, I'm Willie. Get out there, play around with Wireshark, and as always, I'll see you in the next video.